everybody in YouTube land. So we're gonna try this again. Uh, I'm trying to see. This horse likes to get tied a lot after he's been off for a bit, so um, I don't get to work him quite as much as I'd like. So I want to shake that tree a little bit and see if he's firmly rooted and solid. I don't do it every time, but it just kind of tells me because I can help him through a lot of the tightness when I feel it not pushing the envelope so much. But I also like to shake him and if, if he's kind of falling apart, falling over, it's a lot like us. When life's falling apart, we need to look to our Lord. Um, and, and it happens with all of us. I mean, as blessed as we are and as good of the fruits as we have, trouble comes, whether you want it or not. So as a source, if he wants to get a little tight, I don't want to make him get tight. I'd like to stay this side of it but I want him to find a way to work this out. So if he wants to be with me, that's great, but if I go to reach for him and he leaves, well, if he chooses to go, I'll drive him. I might try to ask him to wait and be a little cautious, but see, he kind of just offers this left side. We'd see if maybe he could offer his right side. So it'd be nice if he could look off to his left, my right. But he sees something kind of over at the neighbors there. So as I go, see, he's a little evasive of getting over here. But he didn't completely block me, and then I'll just pet him. Because I don't want him to think that he's in trouble for me getting over there all the time. And again, maybe, like on a hard-to-catch one, I'd work this middle ground a little bit where he has to work to get me to hook on and come with him rather than the other way around. See, he kind of blocks me from his right eye again. So I'm going to work my way around. I'll make it difficult. I'm going to speed up my feet. And if I, as I shake this, if he had to leave, I could help him to go. So here he's chasing the danger. I'm not putting pressure on him, but he's getting used to some things. And in a round pen, if he gets stuck, try to drive him the other way. He can come unstuck. I want him to reach forward to me. If he's a little stuck, I might get a little more careless. I need him to put a little more effort into it, but all the time, he can get used to some of this stuff. And if he chooses to leave, I'll help him to go. And he can move his feet, because I want him to move his feet.
and he's not real sure, but his feet are a little more freed up there stepping forward. Kind of blocked me there. I'm gonna put a little pressure on. He can choose to leave. Might be a little unsure. There he got forward. confident about reaching for him with the flag. I'd like him to just stay relaxed there. I'm going to block him. There. Good. I want him off to his right, not his left. See? He's heavy on this left side. Or should I say he, he prepares for that left side a little much more forward he is. That's kind of a difference um, between people that I see. I want to block there. there. And then off to his right. And that's a big difference I see in horses that operate a little bit more through feel and communication in the round pen. Again, it's a partnership, so it's a give and take. Um, I understand he'd rather do his own thing. I'd sometimes rather ride my bridal horses, but we all gotta work. And I gotta get him better, and I gotta get better. So I gotta spend that time. So, but people that like force them off their feet, he has a choice here. It's his choice. And a lot of times I see like these trick trainers or some of these clinicians and they kind of force them with their little stick and their whip or whatever. 
and the horses get kind of crabby with it because you're forcing him. I'm not forcing him here. His ears aren't pinned back. I want him to choose to kind of come forward to his right. That time he reached forward a little more. Still not sure there when I reach for him. He's like, you can reach here on my neck. I'll offer that, but I don't want that. I want this other side. He's even there. See, he offered that side. And I want to kind of give him a chance to offer that side. there he kept me on his right eye and he's pretty even but I'd ask him see and when I asked him there at first he, he kind of had a little block there he stayed pretty straight but I'd want him to offer this side and by asking him what do you mean by asking Paul I didn't see you do anything I hear that a lot is it's the same thing as I just think if I think about him bending left there and I want to think about him bending left a little more. All right. Well, if he looked, there we go. If he looked, he's like, can you give me a little scratch? If I thought about him bending to his right here, offering that other side, there's a try. And he didn't, and he stepped further away there, well, then I might draw him. But same thing, same thing when I'm asking him to come back there, see? There, see, he offered that right eye and invited me over to this side. And then I'll ask him to get kind of straight, but I don't, I'm not particular. So now I'm thinking I want kind of this other eye. See him reach away? That's kind of borderline. There's a try. And I want him there, good. You could say, well, he was going to do it anyways. Well, a little while ago, he wouldn't go offer his right side at all. So I go when I don't care. It doesn't matter. But then three, on oh, three, he came back. See, there. I want to get this other side. So he starts to understand there's a, there's a presence and an energy. And I don't know how they can feel that. But there's a presence in an energy, and I can feel it when my wife's angry. I can usually feel it at the front gate. Can't always feel her when she's good, but it doesn't take me too long. If I get in contact, I can tell usually when she's in a really good mood. I can tell when she's got boundaries or barriers. So there's something there that we sense too, but not near to the level that the horse does. So we'll move him out once more. Um, again, he's been a little tighter to his right. He kind of quit bucking, but he was off to your right, not your left. Good. He was still kind of loping like a gazelle. So before I drive him, I hope him it sort of come, and if he didn't, then I'd move him out. And that's a lot more smooth. We'll let him slow down to the trot. Good, and we'll let him hook on. Now, if he gets stuck there again, I'm gonna see there he got forward. It's not right at me, but it's a try. Don't run me over. See, that's a pretty tight gap. There he is. If he wants to go the other way, he can go the other way. I want him a little more square. So I draw. There you go. See, now he's got me pretty heavy on this left eye again. He's like, you can pet me here on the neck there, but I don't want to pet there. I want to get to that other eye. And see, he's going to block. There's a try, there's a thought. Not that way. There, good. Let's see if we can get him a little more square. He's 
still heavy on the left. There, he says, okay. Right at the time he kind of licked his lips. Good. So yeah, you want to work on that balance. And again, give him a choice. I want him to understand that whenever I put a little pressure on, even from front of the shoulder, which is against mother nature, because mother nature says from the point of the shoulder forward to go backwards. So when I'm up here shaking the flag, Mother Nature says, don't come this way. But he'll learn gradually, because I'm in a big pin, that I can shake this flag maybe and free his feet up where he'd come, come look me up there. See, that's way more forward than he was, not quite so evasive. So I'm gonna finish the video. I don't wanna finish on this left eye. I want to finish the video. I want him, see that's, he braced and went away. I want to finish with him looking over there so that I could come in here. <laughs> and I maybe rush that just a little bit. So he's looking over. I want him to think over to his left a little. I stepped in there like, oh, I want to end the video. So would have been nice, but I want just a little more change there than that evasion. I want him to kind of think over here. That's centered there. And as I step in, I want to be a little more methodical rather than rushing in there. And then when I get here, you just want to pet him. He's kind of itchy right there, maybe. See? He kind of keeps telling me. It's like there's a spot somewhere in there. So anyways. Again, I hope you guys enjoy these videos. It means the world to me that you take time out of your day to watch them. I, the horses have given so much to me. I could never begin to tell you. I was kind of, well, I still am pretty shy. Actually, it's weird, I know. But uh, a little bit of an introvert, but but I'm happy to share, and I'm happy to share some things with you guys um, so that I hopefully, hopefully, you guys take it to another level so I can learn. Because again, to me, it's just about learning. And the horse, the horse has done so much for me and helped me so much out. And, and yeah, my wife's part of that. and. If I can just give a little bit of peace back to him, that's kind of, you know, part of the reason of the YouTube channel is to give back to people so maybe they could help some other people out. Not just with horses, but life in general. But mostly too, because it's, it's hard. I mean, if everybody, if it was easy, everybody would be doing it, but everybody's not doing it. Some people think they are, but the proof's in the horses to me. So you want to kind of look at those horses and see see what their mindset is and see what they have to say i hope you guys enjoyed watching it if you did maybe leave a comment if you're still around um, it, it gets it out to more people and the more you guys like it the more subscriptions we have the more it opens the door to other people so um, it's just a start but i can't believe some of the questions and and some things i i really there's a lot of you out there that have have commented or other things offered encouragement or advice or emailed me and I just I can't tell you how much it is I haven't maybe got to meet all of you but I really enjoy it so I hope you guys enjoy the video happy trails enjoy the journey and we're out of here